The Owen James Report is brought to you by Guardian Group Life Insurance Policies. Live secure, live easy. Of course, we all hope that our loved ones will always be safe. But just hoping won't protect your family. Which is why Guardian Group Life Insurance Policies are designed to take care of your family if anything should happen to you. So you can all feel a little more secure. Live secure. Live easy. Good evening. This is the Owen James Report. A huge Bank of Jamaica intervention estimated at over 40 million U.S. dollars helped to quench the thirst for U.S. dollars and triggered a mild strengthening or revaluation of the Jamaican dollar today. In fact, the benchmark American dollar weakened by three Jamaican cents, closing at an average selling rate of $112.71, whilst the Canadian dollar weakened by 56 cents Jamaican to close at $105.99. Sterling held firm at an average selling rate of $192.97. Now, JMMB's Group Chief Investment Officer Paul Gray described to the OGR the Bank of Jamaica's intervention as quite substantial and fully satisfying today's demand. It also comes on the heels of the settlement of the 2025 bonds, thus bolstering Jamaica's net international reserves considerably. Today's transactions indicate the level of the intervention. The financial companies, including the commercial banks, bought a total of 81.4 million US dollars and sold 76.7 million US dollars, a stark contrast to yesterday's total purchase of 31 million US dollars and sales of 33 million US dollars. In related news, the JLP's spokesman on finance, Audley Shaw, described the Bank of Jamaica's intervention into the market as a vindication of the JLP's stance on devaluation, but emphasized that today's intervention was just the start as stimulation of economic growth has to be the ultimate aim. Shaw told the OGR that, for example, the tardiness in streamlining the appropriate process for building and development has left $50 billion standing idle. In that area alone, we are told that over $50 billion are tied up right now. Money that could be invested, tied up because the approvals have not been granted. We believe that government also has to do other things, like arranging for cheaper credit to get to the small business sector, expand the Exim Bank, recapitalize it and expand the Exim Bank of Jamaica, deal with the energy crisis once and for all. If you don't deal with the energy crisis, the idea that you will ever have a competitive exchange rate is a totally elusive one. News on the Jamaican stock market now, where losses by stocks such as Caribbean Cement, Scotia Group and Sagicor Group Jamaica triggered modest falls in the indices. The main JC index declined by 168 points or a fifth of 1%, 24 stocks traded, with three advancing, 10 declining and 11 holding firm. The winners were Berger Paints, General Accident up 3.4% and Sagicor's Real Estate X Fund. The losers included Caribbean Cement, Caribbean Producers down 6%, DNG, Lasco Financial Services, Lasco Manufacturing, Sagicor Group and Scotia Group. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by Guardian Group Life Insurance Policies. Live secure, live easy.